Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Coding with Ado. Today we are gonna connect Node.js with Spotify. So my idea of the project today is in order is a way for people to actually change the song that they are listening to in Spotify using Spotify's API and a web application using Node.js and Express. Okay. So let's get started. You have to go to developer.spotify.com and you'll be able to sign in with your, you know, your normal Spotify account. You go to the dashboard and you can create an app. I already created an app here called Coding with Ado, party app like style. Once you open there, you can go and see the settings and you have all the information that here that you need in order to go build our app. Okay. So remember always to put a redirect URL because we are going to do an express to do the connection to the API. So let's go to the code. So let's jump right into, let's do, let's start our package. Uh, we're going to install a uh, express as you said, said before, dot env and also the wrapper of Spotify. Spotify web API node. Okay, it will take some time because this wrapper is pretty big. So meanwhile, let's write our index of shares. Oh, okay, not as fast. And then the dot end file. Okay, so in the dot end file, let's add the client ID, the client secret, and the redirect URL. Okay, and uh, let's grab them out. So we said we have the client ID here, the client secret here, and the redirect URL. Okay. So we're gonna do the client ID there, the client ID secret, and the redirect URL here. Okay. In our index file, let's first require Dot env. Let's initialize express. Initialize express. Require express. And the Shopify web API require shop. Shopify web web. API node. Okay. So let's do const app equals to express. So initialize express. Let's set up the port to 3050. It's the one that we just set up on our .dot end file. Let's set the client. Shopify client, so it's going to be Shopify API equals to new Shopify web API. I'm going to send client ID equals to process dot end dot client ID secret a eh, client secret equals to process dot end dot client secret and then the redirect URL. It's gonna be process dot end dot and redirect URL. Okay. So now let's start creating our endpoints. So in order to get all these, we first need to log in, right? So we're gonna do a get login with the request. And we're gonna set up the scopes which are going to be user read private. We're going to use user read email. And we're going to do user read playback state. And user modify playback state. I think that's the only ones that I need. 
yeah okay and then we do rest to redirect to the login Spotify uh, API dot create authorize URL with this comes uh, ah Shopify no Spotify Spotify API there it is and it's not Shopify Web API it's Spotify Web API and Spotify Web API okay perfect okay so we did a login and now we need to do the callback of that login okay because we that login is gonna request for our user login to their website and then it's gonna come back with a code and we need to get the access token and all of that so let's do callback okay so in the callback we're gonna do a we're gonna receive three things user request query we're gonna receive the earth if there is any on red query error we're gonna receive the code which one is the one that we will need for uh, the access token and the state we're gonna require that okay of course if there is an error let's stop everything let's do like console.error error okay so if there's any error that says let's throw that and let's do a return here so it stops executing everything okay actually uh, we need to do a resend so let's do res send error error okay so it stops everything it sends an error so it stops also the endpoint from loading always uh, so if there's not an error then we are gonna record our access token so let's do the following let's do spotify api dot authorization code grant code okay let's do uh, let's do it then here then data so it means that it was authorized so what we're gonna do is we're gonna receive the access token uh, data dot body is gonna be the access token okay the refresh token gonna receive as well data dot body refresh token let's do the expire scene data dot body expires in okay so now we have all this data let's do Spotify API dot set access token equals to access token Spotify API dot set refresh token refresh token okay so now we have all those tokens we can console log them if we want and let's do a rest dot uh, send success okay perfect and uh, so yeah that basically is it we could do like an expired scene uh, situation to refresh the token um, Something like this, for example, we could do like a set interval 
the sink like this and then we do like dot data equals to an away Spotify API dot refresh access token and then do like a con access token if that equals to data dot body the access token do so it doesn't have some issues there and Spotify API is set access token access token refreshed and then this interval will work expire scene divided to for like thousands okay basically at half of the time that it expires we can reset the access token okay that's one way to put it um so yeah let's also do let's do the catch to this then so if it actually has an error here okay let's do console dot error error Present error getting token. Okay, so now we have the callback with the access token, and we added to the Spotify API the access token. So now let's work on the search application. Let's search for music. So let's do apt dot get search. Okay, regress. And let's do const q equals to query spotify api dot search tracks q a it's a rec dot query search tracks q then if it's uh, if it finds found something We are going to do a const track URL equals to search data dot body dot tracks dot items zero. So let's, let's grab the first one dot URI. Let's send that URI. So let's do rest dot send URI equals to track Yuri. Okay. So why? Let's say for example we wanna first search it and then send it to, I don't know what's your business logic there, but we could do this. Okay? So let's do that. And let's do app.get play. You wanna you wanna decouple the play function. So the play function will be something similar to this. So const Yuri equals to red dot query. And let's do Spotify API dot play. We have Uri's Yuri. Okay, so it's kind of like adding that to your playlist. Then We're gonna do a recent play that started. Okay. Let's do a catch error. A rest dot send error playing. And let's also add a catch here. Searching uh, here, same thing, 
And at the end of that, let's initialize the express. Let's listen to express port. Okay, console log listening at db host port. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do npm start. Actually, no index. We don't have an npm start. Okay. Let's install this. It's not in the registry. Sorry, I, I'm still on Shopify. It's npm Spotify. They're pretty similar, come on. Spotify. Well, yeah, you know, okay. Okay, cool. So we are at 3050. So let's bring back, let's bring a browser here. Okay, so we have our Spotify here. Let's go and do the localhost 3050 login. Coding with Sado. Uh, uh, accept. Uh, uh, where callback was wrong. So let's modify that. So let's go to developers. Spotify. Com. Let's modify that. Slash edit HDB localhost thirty fifty slash callback add remove save same thing here callback Let's close this out. Let's try again. Login, callback, success. And we have here our access token. So let's say now that we wanna do a search. A, let's search for baby shark. And we have our track here. Okay. And now let's play for that. Let's play. Yuri. My track here in payload. Let's see. Oh, sorry, it's Yuri, not to that, Yuri equals. Right, no active device. Okay, let's grab this device. Let's start playing whatever here. So yeah, that's basically how you change what you're listening using Node.js and Spotify API. If you have any comments or thoughts, just let me know. I love doing this project. Uh, subscribe, like, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.